Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World The Game. What's this? You can't do that. Combining both? That's crazy. So as you can see right in front of you, there, right there, we have a goat scent special. This came out of nowhere. I was no, nobody I think was told about this. It just sort of happened. I saw... Uh, some pictures on Facebook while I was editing tonight's video, which this is also going to be another one on top of. Um, and I was like, wait a minute, you can take on the goat? What? Oh, th there's epics to dot as well? What is going on? This was not in the, the thing in the proceed, the process of events that was supposed to transpire today. This wasn't part of it. So there is actually a, uh, this was a thing. Um, I didn't realize that you only got one pop at it. Every, every stop was a goat. And when you clicked on it, the goat rolled over, and then you got some prize. And it was really good prizes as well. I got 10 food um, and something else. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I, you, if you walked closer, you could have got more prizes. So God knows what you could have gotten. So we have this thing. This is the Ungulate Strike, um, which is the main reason why we're making this video, as well as something in Jurassic World. The game has also happened. So instead of me like dragging out like this episode into whatever it is, how about we just combine both of them and we have a super episode filled with loads of things. Yeah. And the first ever episode I think we've ever done where we have both games in it. So maybe if you guys really like that, we can make that a, a, a thing in future. Who knows? Anyway. Let's go on and take this thing. So this is the Ungulate Strike. I love the description of this. One measly goat guards this special strike event reward. Wouldn't it be embarrassing to lose? <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Okay, so we're not going to take any chances here. I think we got, we got thought of to finish it. Now let's see what this goat has in store for us. I'm expecting it either to be really good or really bad. It's gonna be one. Uh, so let's start with uh, Magnetator. Straight away. Might as well go for it. Oh, oh, he's got boosts on him. Oh, he's got 9,000 health, but we're quicker. So he's 140. What's it collect? Just kidding. Self cleanse. Uh, increase speed by 10%. Become invincible for two turns. It's just goat real. Destroy shields and escape goat. Reduce targets damage by 75%. Immune to stunts. And is that it? Immune to damage over time, immune to distraction. Uh, it's not immune to slowdown. Uh, on escape heal. Well, there are no other goats, so we're okay. Um, so it looks like we are going to go for this. Hopefully not die. How much armor does he have? He has 60% armor. Oh my god. I didn't even check the attack. Didn't even... <laughs> All right then. All right, we're gonna have to go for Thor. I think we're gonna lose, guys. I think we're gonna. I didn't expect it to have, have how much? Two thousand two hundred. Oh my god! <laughs> he got lucky with the crit and killed me. Are you serious? Wow! And he can cleanse himself and get invincible. We've got to kill this goat. We've just got to. He's got to cleanse now. No, he's not. He's going for the scapegoat. But we're immune, so that's fine. What's the crit chance? 10% chance of crit, and he got it on us. So we're going to do, like, no damage here. Yeah, 945. Wow, we got so unlucky here. I, my, okay, Michael Ted doesn't stand a chance. I didn't even realize that. Um, that we were just going to be killed in, like, one shot. Did, did we get unlucky? Did we get crit? 2,000, 4, So you need more than 4,000... Well, 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 we were defeated by a goat. How about that? <laughs> How much does it cost to try and give it another shot? Oh, it's only two bucks. Okay, they know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> they knew that people would just be taken out by this thing. What can I do? Like, what can I do? Um, I put Gemini Titan in now. Um, we did, well, I don't know if we, did you see that level? Well, I put some boost into it, so it's got health now. Um, and now I, I don't know. I just don't know. I think Trichosaurus and Thor are a key to getting its health down. But then again, it depends what it does. If it does just go for, I don't know, like a huge hit and it gets a crit. So the cleansing, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We got armor, we can take that, that's good. However, in his next hit, 
He's, uh, he's going to dish out a load of damage to us. Uh, so he is de decreased in speed. So there we go. We do get to go next. Um, I mean, what can we do? Uh, he, he's just going to go for that hit that does like 7,000. We don't get lucky and get the crit, which is a bit of a shame. But 3,000 damage. I'll take that. Oh, wait. Oh, have we survived? We're surviving. Oh, my God. Yes. Decrease its speed again. Unless he goes for invincibility. Even if he does go for invincibility, uh, cleanse or whatever. We're still good. Okay, so there's a good. No, there, I can't even talk. It's too, it's so intense. <laughs> so, the, oh, you bugger you. Oh, that was, that was perfect. That was perfect. So, destroy shield. Inflict one times of opponent's max HP. So, he just kills whatever in one hit. Basically. Inflict one times of opponent's max HP as armor piece and damage. It just got real. So he can just kill you. So it's a look whether he decides to go for that or not. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. Like, what do we what do we go for here? German, German, a Titan? I guess. We'll, we'll just try and decelerate him. If he goes for it, we're dead. Uh, oh, just kidding. Okay. So how much health does he get back? Yes, uh-huh. How much is it? 50? Is it 50%? Oh, it looks like a quarter. Because if it's 50%, that would be absolutely insane. Okay. Okay. Um, he might go for cleansing. I think our best option is, of course, to break his shield. His invincible shield, by the way. Um, and set up our shield. So if he does go for the max rendering. But I think we're just going to die anyway. Uh, if he does go for that. We're dead. There you go. Full health. Gone. Yep, there it is. Nothing we could do. Just just wanted to kill us. So now what do we do here? Thordo is literally all we can go for is just go for a huge hit. Um, and hope for, he can't go for that again. Oh! Oh, Thordo! Oh, Thordo! Thordo, don't die! Don't die, Thordo, please! No! Ah! <laughs> no! What? What was that? I am so good. What was that scapegoat? Reduce target's damage by 75% and then do two times damage. Oh, okay. I'll take this. That's good. Maybe we might be on to a winner. Oh, he does your max attack. That's what he does. Oh, I got you. Right, okay. Oh my god, our dentist Maxima is doing it. Ooh, ooh. Come on, our dentist. You got this, you got this. Just keep on going. Yes! We haven't lost one yet. Okay, there's the cleanse. Yep, thought so, thought so. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Right, now it depends what he does here. I could go go for Griffolith, and that might be pretty decent. He does have the... Things just got real, though. Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Do we... Do we... What do we do? I'm gonna go for Gemini Titan. I'm gonna go for Gemini Titan. Gonna go for it. He could very easily just go for... Things just got real. Could very easily just go for that and just finish it. Yep, there you go. Nothing that I could do. Like, there is literally nothing I could do. I mean, maybe if I go for instant invincibility... I mean, does it go through if he does that? Just got real. Destroy shield. So the, yeah, there's nothing you can do against that. Um, I, I'm, <laughs> I just really don't think you can do maybe Griffolith. Because like, if I get hit, I might have a chance to kill him. But honestly, there's, there is literally nothing I can do. Oh, have we done it? No. No, don't say we've done it. Rendering counter attack. Yes, we killed the cop. <laughs> oh my god only took me maybe like 18 bucks but you know what that was fun i enjoyed that um let's see what we get out of this also you get this you can buy the scent as well and you've got a hundred percent chance of getting a t-rex and then with the rest of them it's kind of you know the first one is 100 percent a t-rex though it, you know what in these times they're happening around the world kind of need something like this that was Good move, Lydia. You, you did good there. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get more on that, though. But what about the epic? Uh, okay. Oh, God, I would have preferred something else. Jeez. 
Oh, but we got more things to dart, yes! Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, switch over to Jurassic World the game. Whip! So, here we are. Oh, God, we've got the dodo. I didn't even... Was that... Was that new? Was that supposed to be in here? But the new hybrid, Gallimimus Ophicodon, to make a rare hybrid. Now, we haven't had a rare hybrid in a long time. It seemed as though for the longest time that Ludia were just focusing on super hybrids. And that was, you know, occasionally you'd, you'd get like the legendary hybrid like we had with the Uteranus uh, hybrid. Hold on. Just going to turn that down a smidgen. So let me just collect all my stuff. Collect me things as well. There we go. Ooh, irritated. But we already have Ophicodon maxed up. We already have Gallimimus maxed up. So we can make this thing instantly. Um, oh, God, you can buy packs as well. Ooh, okay. Um, it might take a fair few bucks to hatch, actually. I didn't think about that. So, wait, what was this? So, what can, what can you... For $30! 30, 30 Australian dollars! Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. So, we're gonna go straight in here. Now, why I'm excited about this one, and we'll just grab our uh, 200 free cash. Why I'm excited about this one is rare hybrids have the opportunity to actually be really flipping good. Uh, things we've seen, the Tapajalus, I think that had a hybrid. I think Tapajalus was? That had a hybrid, that was really good. And of course, who could forget? Carnaraptor. That's like one of the best, like it made my top 10 list last time I made a list. And we're on 10% battery, fantastic. And we got 10% off hybrids. <gasps> Ooh, well, here we go. Let's search for this. Uh, can I not just go to Ophicodon? Oh, for God's sake, fine. To go in here and then go in here, go into carnivores. Now, Ophicodon, where are you? There you are. You were gonna be the evil sorceress, yes? Oh, right, you're in here. Ah. Bit of a problem, but there you go. Uh, level 40 fuse to make the Gallimimus. And now, if this is a herbivore, I will be so happy with Ludia right now. The goat thing, if this is a blooming herbivore, oh my god, yes. It'll, it looks like it could be a herbivore. It does have teeth, though. Now, what makes me think it or believe that it is going to be a herbivore is the fact that it is. It, it has the Gallimimus animation. If it was a carnivore, it had the Ophicodon animation. And it looks like, please be a herbivore, please. Yes! Oh, yes! Wow! Wow! The best secret update in the game. Wow, what is this? Making another, oh, ooh, max level 40, 844 attack. 1,600 for a rare. That's, a, that's better than a legendary. Like a normal legendary, of course not a legendary hybrid. Wow, oh, I like it. Ooh, it's like a mix. It's, it's a carnivorous Gallimimus. It's got a really thick neck. Oh, wow, but it's got the head. It's got quite qualities of a Jurassic Park raptor, I would say. Ooh, yes, but a little bit wide on the head, but apart from that, wow. Okay, well, we're gonna save. Oh God, we've got a, we've got a code, whatever. Um, where are you? Oh god, this is gonna cost a lot of bucks, but I want to get this thing up to level 40. I want to get this thing up to level 40. So we're just gonna... Mm, it's probably gonna cost us a couple thousand bucks. Um, where our DNA as well is gonna take a hit. We're gonna be very low on DNA. Probably half the... Oh, don't sell it! Ooh, why is that on the left? Wait, why? <laughs> okay, so let's feed you up to level 20. Uh, 752 attack and 392 health. Uh, sorry, 392 attack and 752 health. There you go. Got it right. Uh, okay, so we may as well do a code 19. We're here. We might as well see. I just want to see this and where it stacks up in comparison in the roster with um, Carnaraptor. That, that, I mean, this has the opportunity to be possibly my top 10 dinosaurs in this game, like if I was to make a list now. This would probably beat out Carnaraptor for the sake of it being a, uh, a herbivore. And herbivores are just so poorly needed. Um, I would say really you'd want something that was an amphibian because there is so many carnivores in the game. And even though it's a herbivore, it's, you know, a kind of class that you, we never really see. Um, a amphib like a herbivore takes on the the flyers and there's not really too too many flyers going about that you would take on in the competitive scene. 
Oh, yes, give me all those. Okay, so we are now... We need to... Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we did. No, not so for code on. No, don't need you anymore. Go bye-bye. We need another one of you. So, instead of 7,500, even though I am losing a lot of books, I'm saving, what, 15% each time, so... So that is another... Ooh, look at you, two books, sir. Why aren't you in the deal? Everything off except for that one. Why, why is that? Okay, whatever. I'll keep on going with this. Just spend me uh, 138 books a pop for this guy. All right, so that is a level 30. So we need four more. Um, that is just enough DNA. Oh, Lord. Just enough. Okay, so keep on placing. One, two. Well, this is the second one now. See, it, it switches like you want to click on the left and then you want to click on the right, click on the right and it's... Ooh, it's... It's dangerous. Okay, so let's just feed these guys together. Da, 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 da. Oh, and evolve. It's another 47 a pop to even attempt it. It's not guaranteed. And then another 100 DNA on top of that. Oh, 300 DNA t it's taken to get this. And oh my, like 160 bucks just to, a just to get it to level 20 there. So if you do to get these level 20, now 120 and 80, it's cheaper. Ooh, I like the coloring. The coloring looks good. All right, 120, 80. Ah. Oh, I don't like it, guys. Jeez, how beaver has fallen. Going from, you know, being able to level up any legendary hybrid in the game in one session to now struggling to level up a rare hybrid. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, I mean, slowly, Lydia have made it hard to get books and DNA now, and this is what we're faced with. Uh, 1,146 health and 597 attack. Whew. That's good. Okay, so get level I mean, you're even at level 10, but remember, hybrid, you might as well get it to level 20. Because you've already lost two creatures to get it, to get one, and then to, you know, spend that much, or to spend DNA again, you can... Increase its stats. I would say double, but it's not double. You increase its stats by a lot. So we've only got two left to get. So we'll get you activate. We're gonna get we're gonna get some books back and stuff for when we look at its um what do you call it? It's uh I don't know what you would call those facts. It's a made-up dinosaur, so can you call them facts? I guess. Okay, we're on 9,000 DNA. Oh my god, I've never been this low. This is horrendous. And books, we were on 8,000. I think we just clocked over to 9,000 books at the start when I collected that 200. But now, as you can quite clearly see, we're going to be below maybe even 6,000 by the end of this. It depends. Let's see. So we still got to give this a couple of pops. Oh, first time. That's great. Woo! And finally, to fuse two level 30s together. Oh, he's got a cool sale. 140 and 120 bucks now. See result. Oh, done first time. Woo! There we go. 1,366 health. 711 a Titan. Wow, does this thing look gorgeous. 1,622 health and 844 attack. Ah, oh, that looks gorgeous. Wow. Oh, he looks good. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, well, we're going to collect this code 19 because I often forget to do these. Oh, you put Cephalus Super DNA and you put Cephalus to click on. Whoa, I do, if you don't mind, I'll do it. Also, stay tuned. Uh, the, the video that was supposed to be going up tonight will still go up to tonight. I think it registered. I took my finger off it there, but I didn't. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, oh, no, don't do this. Still counts? Yes, okay, still counts. Good, 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 good. I want to see it in the roster, but there you go. My thoughts on it? If you can unlock it, do it. It looks really flipping good. It'll be able to take on, like, any, even legendary, regular legendary dinosaurs. This thing is going to be able to take on. And you're going to use it in the late game. You're going to, as soon as you've got it, you're going to use it throughout the entirety of this game's lifespan, which if Jurassic Park Builder is anything to go by, you've got four more years. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where does it line up in the roster? Oh, I'd like to see it take on the dodo. We should take on the dodo with it. But before we do that, uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm not expecting it to be anywhere near here. This is 
you know, uh, here we go, here we go. Okay, it can be somewhere here. Now, where is it? It's got to be higher, right? It's not higher? Whoa, why is it not higher? It's It's got to be higher than these, right? It's got to be. Why is it... Okay, okay, well, I guess we'll scroll down. Okay, maybe it's on par with level 40 legendary, something like that. Where is it? I am not... Okay, it's definitely better than these guys. What? Where's that Carnaraptor? No, no, it's not. Oh, is it only legendaries? Oh, is this only legendaries? It's only... There we go. <laughs> no restrictions. This is the one we want. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we'll have to scroll down a lot here. Um, right. There we... Ooh, wow. Nundakasaurus? What's better than 800? Look, that's on a par with, like, a Stiggy Moloch. Oh, my God. Level 20. It's better than Glythornax at level 10. Apparently. It should, it's not because of tight matchup, but wow. Okay. Well, we're not going to face it up against anything like that. We'll have it face up. <gasps> They've got goats in here, too. Oh, yes. Well, you know what we're going to do? We gotta go on herbivore. It is a herbivore in itself, but I just wanna see. I just wanna see how far we can get with Ophacomimus taking on the Dodo. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll not put him in first. We'll have a round about the right team. Oh, it's a tiny Dodo! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! So you got, the, you got the goat, which is, of course, small in comparison to dinosaurs, in Jurassic World Alive. In this one, you've got a tiny Dodo. <laughs> This is great! Oh, we've got so much to cover in this! Wow! Go and kill me! You can't kill me? Okay. I, I want to see what it looks like when you kill it. We may as well just try it. Yeah, let's go for it. Whoopush! Oh, oh, the camera is still locked in as if it was big, so he's barely visible. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like with the... Just, is everything being scaled back? I mean, it's not too hard when you think about it, because all you need to do is click on the root joint and then scale down. And it'll scale down the mesh and everything. So, I mean, maybe code-wise it's hard? Or it takes a little bit more effort, but... Oh, there we go. Some nibbles brings in... What are you called? Ophicomimus. Wow, okay. Well, we may as well just go for some hits on you. Oh, there you go. Whoppa! Gets the hit. Beautiful. <gasps> but he's gonna bring him back to life. Okay, don't kill me. Don't go for four, please. Look at it. It looks so good. Right, I'm going to switch to Stiggy Moloch because I do want to see this guy's 8 animation. Right, there we go. Go on, kill him. Kill the Stiggy. We don't care about Stiggy. We're not here to see Stiggy. Mm. Oh, that's it. Another num nums. Kill Stiggy and we'll slow down the animations. And here we go. Let's go for 8. Let's do it. So we've got a new statue, we've got new events. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's a jump on, isn't it? It's like the scratch, scratch, and then tech. Nah. <laughs> oh, it's been hard. Oh, look at him. It's been ages since I've seen that. The design of that looks great. Oh, it's kind of a, like an aquatic creature. You see that design of an aquatic creature with the fins and the sails. Mainly it's just like jagged spikes, but I guess it's like a Bonitosaurus, I suppose. And the sails come from the Ophicodon. And there it goes. Down. Killed by the Death Dodo. Was it always called the Death Dodo? Well, it's called the Death Dodo now. I wonder if that's new, if it was never, like, called Death Dodo before. Well, we used two legendaries, and we definitely got over 500, so even more chances for DNA. If you're not playing the game right now, play it. Like, as soon as you see this video, get on these games, get the rewards, kill the goat if you can, because that's a really hard go. If you don't have creatures like I did in Dress World Live, I don't think you're going to be able to do it. <laughs> we fought the Death Dodo, there you go. Getting that up. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.